the reason we, we, we looked at automating our welding process was we we're always trying to be more competitive. Industry's never changing. We're, 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 a lot of our customers are global suppliers and we've, we've now uh, been approved to be a global supplier for these customers. So they're global manufacturing companies and so therefore there's a lot of influence from Northern Europe who are well ahead of us in Australia and we're competing quite well with them. Robots aren't always what they seem to be. We've been to, you know, I won't say the names, but you know, weld, welding companies or gas companies and we've gone there and we've looked at their robots and they all look great. They're always a big bulky machine. Not like this, this little fella's very streamlined, very small, does the job, hangs onto a, a torch, which is much the same as any other robot. It's not big, it's not big and bulky. There's no need to have a closed off room for it. So there's this machine that can be put and you'd see the bloke down there walking around the machine. We use Thronos gear throughout the place. Very reliable gear, high tech, fantastic. This just adds to that. Now we don't think this is going to replace all our welding mm. at all. It'll take out the, 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 the sort of the, the tedious tasks, the manual tasks, the ones that are that, rep that are repetitive, it hurts people's backs, mm -hmm. elbows, arms, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. We can't hire welders as fast as we, boiler makers or welders as fast as we want. There's less and less people in the industry. Mm -hmm. So with all those challenges, robots is, a, is, a, is a, an obvious option to go to. It's more user friendly. Even I could program it, and I don't enjoy playing around with computers much at all. Mm -hmm. It's a very, a very uh, user friendly system in the programming. It's, you've just got to sort of think more about your processes and break it down. Yep. Hence the fact that the guy's doing it there, he's a, he's a baller maker, he's a leading hand, he's a baller maker. He's a qualified welder. So these robots need to be doing qualified level welding. So the repeatability is important. And that comes to the robot, you know, it's, it's so consistent and predictable. The outcomes are predictable from it, right? Mm -hmm. So that that's just, it's it blown my mind a bit to the point, when you walk around here, we have a lot of CNC equipment. Robots only one thing that, well not robot, welding is only one area where we can, it's only one area we can currently use. You've, uh, you've got a, uh, a question there where where, how, where else would you use robots and how many you might have? Very small footprint. We can we can use we can use all the way around it very simply but it's just where we want to put it. And you can pick this thing up and put it anywhere you want. You don't need to build a room, a cage, isolate people from it. People can walk around it because if someone just touches it, it stops. Our health and safety person was very excited by it. It is very, it's a very safe machine. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys are getting, getting in their fifties, getting to get sore arms and sore backs and that. Mm -hmm. So they might become an operator. So there, I can't get many guys. I can't get as many guys I want. So this guy can operate a robot or two robots or five jigs, whatever it may be. So he'll still have the job, and he's still welding. But he has to make this machine weld exactly how he welded, and and, and have the results from that. But he's not losing his job. Mm -hmm. Every time we've brought a bit of CNC gear, and the company's growing. It has not disappointed us in, in any way.